What is up design family and welcome to another episode of Fit Design TV. On today's episode, we'll be looking at two main types of printing you usually see on sportswear. Screen printing or heat transfer vinyl cut printing. We'll be going through both and I'll provide a comparison and I'll give my opinions on which specific printing method is best for your given situation. Because there's no perfect printing method, but there's the most appropriate printing method given your circumstances. I hope you guys will find this video informative. It's a quick one and we'll get right into it. Welcome to Fit Design TV. On this channel, we'll explore what it takes to make it as an active wear fashion brand, whilst providing tips, tricks, and actionable steps towards starting your own product line. Whether you're an entrepreneur looking to start your own brand or just someone interested in fitness fashion, there's something for you here. So, as mentioned, we have screen printing on one side, I'm sure you guys have heard of that, and we have your heat transfer vinyl cut printing. Two very common methods that we see in sportswear on sportswear items, and they're very distinctive. You can tell them apart. The easiest way to tell apart vinyl versus screen printing is to run your finger or your nail across the surfaces of both. You'll find screen printing kind of has a bit of a rougher texture, a little bit kind of like sandpaper in a way, um, a much finer and smoother sandpaper paper at that, but like sandpaper nonetheless, and vinyl cut will have a much smoother look, kind of feel like a sticker in a way, um, and it'll, it'll just have this rubbery texture to it. So that's the way that we can tell screen print and heat transfer for the most part. There are obviously different finishes that you can have on both, but that's my go-to method. The way that you want to distinguish whether or not one is better for you than the other is to understand how both are made. With screen printing, we have a mesh or a screen that's created, hence the name, uh, which is typically made out of nylon with liquid ink that is allowed onto the garment or kind of like pressed onto the garment. And that's where you get your transfer of ink and you'll get this layer of uh, ink or kind of like texture or pigment on your garment. And it's a very kind of distinctive look and in, in, in layering. With heat transfer, especially with vinyl cut, because there are different types of heat transfers, we're gonna be speaking primarily about the vinyl cut prints. You essentially use a special kind of paper and you print out your logo, your emblem, or whatever it may be onto that piece of paper. It's cut and then using a heat press, um, using uh, between 40 to, to 80 PSI of pressure and almost around 400 degrees Fahrenheit worth of heat, you press that vinyl sticker onto the garment and it essentially transfers the sticker directly onto the garment based on the adhesive that you have underneath it, which is once it's heated up, it melts and it allows you to basically stick onto your garment. There are pros and cons to both. With screen printing, it's a great method. It transfers a very vibrant, rich color. One of the main cons is really, it's a bit more of an upfront cost because you have to create an entire screen for your prints, it's more suitable towards medium to higher run manufacturing. Uh, typically, you'd be looking around 250 as a minimum uh, quantity of shirts that you want to print just because there is an upfront cost associated with it. And if you can't hit that amount, you just won't be able to use screen printing. It wouldn't be cost effective when it comes down to it. Also with screen printing, you can only create one color per screen. So if you have a design with multiple colors on it, you're going to have multiple screens and layer that over each other, which obviously adds to the cost. But one of the main pros is it is durable. If you have a good screen print, it will last you some time. Poor screen prints can crack over time as most poor prints do. It also has a thicker texture. So that's also something that you bear in mind, but it is robust. It is durable for the most part if treated well. And at the same time, it's very suitable for medium to higher run manufacturing. And you're gonna get a faster product because what they do at the factory is they set up their production in a way that they have this heat press. It's usually in a kind of rotating uh, format and you have your garments all lined up and you're pressing them one by one by one. And it's done in a very automated way that allows you to scale and to amortize that initial cost that you paid upfront for the screen across many different units. So it could end up being more cost effective than a heat transfer print. 
So that's kind of the main situation that you would have to be in to really benefit from screen printing. For smaller run manufacturing or even with sportswear, a vinyl cut heat transfer allows you to print uh, one-offs or just one by one logos or as many as you need and transfer those directly onto the garment. I personally prefer the look and feel of heat transfer. It's typically seen with more of a, it has more of a sporty look in my opinion just because companies such as Adidas, Nike, Puma have adopted that heat transfer look. One of the main cons of this is you can either have a poor quality heat transfer print, it requires some expertise to know this specific heat transfer, you know, this specific sheet that we're using requires 420 degrees Fahrenheit, it requires this much pressure to apply correctly. So the factory workers that are working on the specific piece, they need to have some knowledge of what type of sticker they're working with and what are the necessary parameters to induce when transferring that sticker onto there. So there's a bit more room to mess up or to create something that is less than optimal. But it is a much lower upfront cost and it allows you to print a good quality print onto a garment. Uh, one of the other things that you should consider is with heat transfer, since you're printing out using a printer, you're able to create a variety of colors. You're, you can have the sticker itself be any color you want. You wouldn't have to layer out your screen, uh, your print as you do with a screen print where every single color needs to be its own solid block or its own solid screen. So you're getting that flexibility with the heat transfer to do a lot more in terms of the colors, adding gradients, adding any other patterns or whatever it may be onto your heat transfer. We do recommend it but it's very important to make sure that the quality of sticker you're using is correct and it is being applied correctly as well. So that's been it. It's a quick video just to show the main pros and cons between your screen print and your heat transfer. My main takeaway with this would be if you're just starting off, a heat transfer print is much more going to be suitable for that specific situation. You're going to get cleaner edges as well. With screen print, sometimes you get a bit of bleeding on the edges but with screen print, if you do it well as well, you're going to be able to amortize your initial investment costs across many different units. You're gonna get faster production time and overall, you're going to have potentially a more robust and lasting product over time. So that's basically the main differences. Hopefully you guys learned a thing or two. We wanna do more videos like this where it's just very basic comparison points because I'm sure there are people that search for these things and they want to know what is the most suitable printing method for me. And I'm thinking between screen printing and heat transfer. Hopefully this video has helped you guys out. Until next time, thank you so much for tuning in to Fit Design TV. Stay awesome.